guys what is going on it is obadiah and today we are back playing some osiris new dawn and uh today i want to get a little bit different stuff done so our current mission is to build an oxygenator uh in the habitat of course which is where we are now we already built the chemistry table and we built the fabricator so to make an oxygenator we need aluminum no problem titanium which is no problem and then wire and a circuit board so i asked myself i said self where do i make those things and it is in the fabricator so the wire wires rubber which we got tons of copper which is easy and gold which i believe we have a little bit of the circuit board requires plastic which is uh, a pain but we can get it gold which we i think we only have a little of and lithium which i have never even seen so we go need some lithium and I don't know where it is, I don't know where to get it, and I've never seen it. So I think we're gonna do a little bit of exploration. Uh, is this full? No, okay. But I don't wanna lose things, so I'm my, I think the map, the patch tape, the chisel, and the multi-tool, you get back all the time. Whenever, if you die, you get it back. So besides that, I don't wanna carry anything in my inventory besides those things. And I'm just gonna pick a direction I'm just gonna go explore, and I'll tell you what, the direction's not gonna be that way where that alien is who just hides around my base all the time. So I think we're just gonna go ahead this direction, because it's just as good as any other direction, and uh, kinda see what we find, and hopefully run across some lithium or something cool. So if we do, uh, I'll bring y'all back, and we'll see what kind of cool things we can explore. All right, guys, I uh, I think we definitely chose the wrong direction to go. This is just expansive nothingness of desert forever. And we're gonna keep going this way because eventually we're gonna get to the other side of the desert. Hopefully, maybe, but holy crap, this is just an awful, awful area. There's just nothing, no resources, no aliens. I mean, I'm sure we get sand because we're like in the desert, but, and maybe, I don't even know. I didn't even bring a shovel to check. But holy crap, there's just nothing here. And now it's foggy and raining and night might be happening. I think literally any other direction hopefully would have been better. Well guys, I have hit 10,000 meters away from my spawn point. And uh, let me tell you, we 100% chose the wrong way to go. Holy crap, there is nothing. Abs no aliens, no resources, no anything. This has been terrible. 10,000 meters. And prior to this, the farthest we'd ever been from our like spawn point was like 1,200 meters. So we have gone far. I have been walking for a while and there is, the, besides the occasional rock that is just nothing but scenery, there is absolutely nothing here. And so I think it's time to embrace the sweet release of death because holy crap i ain't walking back so force kill oh and we gotta try a different direction all right guys so we went exploring we went that way whatever way that happens to be uh and now i think we're going to go this way the exact opposite way and see what we can find. Now, this way, I know I saw some aliens, but uh, hopefully we can just avoid them. Really should wait for daylight, but I'm not gonna. Now, one thing that I'm not a huge fan of is I've noticed that once an alien starts to attack you, it doesn't seem to want to give up. I have been unable to shake aggro um, at all from aliens once they aggro, so hopefully we are able to avoid them enough that it's not an issue the only thing that you're able to avoid it seems is that giant monster is death worm um it seems like you, uh, get up get up there it seems like you can avoid him once you avoid him he doesn't seem to come back uh but this is terrifying and at night i know there's more aliens out so hopefully this is something successful and if not then we'll go a different direction Okay, so we aren't very far yet, but so far this has proven to be a much better direction. We found these 
uh, oxygen geysers, I guess. So I guess we can collect oxygen in barrels. Um, but also we can see in the distance some yellow geysers, which I believe are the hydrogen. And then some green ones over here, which I think we're going to go check that out. Um, and this way, there do seem to be a lot more resources. Holy crap, I wish it was daytime, because this is just... Oh, where do green geysers go? They just go behind this rock? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to head towards those things, and uh, hopefully there's something awesome. Okay, so we are in a crater called the Abaddon Crater, and I hear a sound that sounds like a giant death worm, so I'm running. Run! Run away from the giant death worm. There it is. Haha, -ha, sucker, we, you missed us. <laughs> All right, so we got, what's in here? The Abaddon Crater. When I think Abaddon, I think uh, Supernatural. I don't know if you guys watched that show, but there's a character named Abaddon. Great show. You should definitely check it out if you've never watched it before. Okay, so we made it to the green geysers, and they are chlorine. So that's interesting, and also there's a batch of plutonium over here. So overall, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, so now we know where chlorine and oxygen is, as well as some more hydrogen, in case we need to find more than what we've already got. Uh, over there, it looks like there's some kind of trees or plants of some sort. This rain slash fog slash night nonsense is really bad, so I might wait it out for a bit. Um, and then we'll head in towards whatever we see. That seems interesting. Well, we were trying to wait it out. Now we're being killed, so I don't think we're gonna make it. We're we'll definitely have to come back here in the daylight, but we are dying, and we are dying so bad. I don't know if it's one, I don't know if it's many. Where are you? We are on the verge of death. Come here. I'll get you. Gotcha, sucker. Ha ha ha. How's it feel? Oh, it's the worst. Okay, I can't. I still can't see absolutely anything. But we gotta move because apparently there's aliens about. And we will go this way. We're just gonna keep going. Just keep moving. Big rock. Ooh, there's something shiny over there. I think it's like the moon or something. But we are on the verge of death. If you look in the bottom left, it says it shows our health and suit meters or whatever. And they are not super high. Okay, there's something moving over there. It looks bigger than what we've seen before. It might just be a rock that's being distorted by all the rain on my visor. Oh no, that's some kind of alien. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and stay away from whatever the hell that is. I did notice there's like some palm trees over here and that seems much more, much more interesting, much more fun, much more not deadly. We are so close to death and you have yet to find anything that's super cool. Ooh, there's something over there that's glowing. It's green, could be plutonium. Ugh. Alien. Ugh. Oh, oh, we're in trouble. I just want to know if it's lithium, that's it. If I can just get over there and see if it's lithium, so that way we at least know where some is, then we can come back with guns and ammo and bullets and, and that looks like plutonium, doesn't it? Okay, we got aluminum and we have got, come on, plutonium, okay. Now can we, oh, did I see one coming after me? No. Okay, let's check out these trees, are they mineable? Berry tree. I want some berries. Berry tree. One berry, two berry. Can we eat those for health? Nutrition bonus, well, let's eat. Cause we hungry, so no health. But we got berries and that's cool. So that's an exciting adventure, I guess. Um, outside of these just being berry trees, Huh, so last time, uh, it's another alien monster thing. Are there any that are like passive that don't want to kill me instantly? Cause that'd be good to know. Okay, is this another crater? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and keep looking around. I'm probably gonna die any second, but 
Oh, yep, yeah, Bunmar Crater, which means there's gonna be a giant death worm jumping after us. Ooh. Run! Run! Ooh. You missed me, sucker. Just barely, but you did. Okay, let's get rid of this. And, uh, I don't know, let's stay along the ridge line, I guess? I don't know. I wish there was a little better of a guide. I mean, I guess I could google -ize it and find, uh, what I need to find, but it's just not as fun as exploration, I think. But at this point, it's starting to get a bit frustrating, you know what I mean? All right, I'm just gonna keep moving, see what we see. All right, so we've come across some kind of something. It looks like it's like some vertebrae or spine, and there's a giant something over there. I'm wondering if this is like, supposed to be like a skeleton of one of those giant death worms? Kind of what it looks like, right? But we're gonna go check it out. Uh, oh. One more crater. Any shaking of death worm murder? No? All right, let's go see what's going on. I mean, it could just be an interesting rock formation, but oh i hear it i hear it run uh. run <laughs> yeah this is definitely giant death worms uh skeleton which is kind of cool oh i wish i wish the sun would come up at some point that would be amazing so we could actually see this thing Let's see if we can get a good vantage point up here. Oh, that's so rad. Yeah, look at that thing. I would, uh, it's like the worst screenshot ever. This fog has been going on for like half an hour now. This is terrible. Okay, so there seems to be more death worm skeletons. So this is like some kind of death worm graveyard. Kind of like the elephant graveyard in Lion King. Elephant graveyard, is that what I'm thinking that right? Um, <laughs> so it's kind of cool. I, I keep trying to sit and wait till daylight happens. Oh, another crater. So we're gonna expect a death worm any second now. But every time I sit to try to wait for daylight, aliens show up and try to kill me. So I just keep running, I guess, and see what we see. Where's our, where's the death worm? Is he gonna pop up any second now? I'm really amazed that we have not died yet. And I'm also really amazed we haven't found like lithium yet. Ooh, spiky red plants. Stay away from those. Those are death. That'll kill me for sure. Oh, why can't they move for some reason? There we go. Okay, this is just alumina, magnesium, some more berry trees, some more spiky red plants of death. Ooh, a parasite of some sort. Okay, you know, I don't see it, but it came up in my scanner, so let's move this direction. No! Critical breach, critical breach, critical breach. Okay. This is our new direction towards these floating rocks. Well, 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 look what I found. I found another habitat. Now, you have to understand this is single player, so there is no one else here except for me. So this is placed here like as like a ruins of sorts, I guess? Oh, the sun's coming up, which is awesome. So check it out, they got the biodome. We don't have that yet. Some hallways. Oh, can I get on top and take a look at this? Oh, so much cooler. Now, there are a few aliens around, so we have to be careful, but I guess this kind of gives us a good idea of what uh, what we can expect. I wonder if there's anything I can loot or find or anything. But look, that's so cool. Okay, what's in this one? I didn't see any like storage chests. That light's still on, which is interesting. Oh, they got like, a satellite? Now this is a cool find, for sure. Let's see what else is around here. So this satellite... I saw that we can build a satellite, I think? 
yes, large satellite. Improves radar. Cool, cool, cool. So let's check it. Let's check it out. See what these things look like. Dang, that's awesome. Can we do anything with it? It looks like it's still functional. No? We can't like claim this stuff as ours and just have a new base. <laughs> oh man. But there is some cool stuff going on here for sure. What's that? Is that gold? We'll take some gold. We'll take some gold home. Ah, oh, it's just copper. All right. All right, I'm gonna... Uh, aliens falling from the sky. So let's go a different direction. Oh, check it out. There's a whole, like, field of, like, solar panels here. And... Oh, is that carbon? Oh, alien. So something terrible must have befallen these people. Let's go check it out. Oh, is that a... Nope, it's not an alien. It's some kind of shadow. Oh, these are cool. We're definitely going to have to build us some of these. I wish there was a way we could interact with this stuff somehow. Either destroy it and gain resources, or claim it, or repair it. But there doesn't seem to be any options. Not with the multi-tool, or the chisel. Um, so I guess it's just here for aesthetics, but man, that's pretty cool. Okay, that, that makes this whole exploration nightmare worth it, I think. Um, still no lithium. Ah, we're stuck. Some aluminum. I guess I'll just keep looking around, see what we can see. We seem to have come across another giant expanse of nothingness, so we know better than to go that way. Um, I did see a green rock over here. I think lithium's blue, or it looks blue in our thing. Oh, we can't see it here, huh? Or it looks blue in our deal. Um, but might as well go check out, make sure this green rock isn't lithium. Hopefully. I mean, or maybe it is. But the truth is, at this point, even if we found lithium, there's nothing we could do. The chance of us getting it back and surviving is little to none. Um, that... Oh, wait, maybe that's something else. No, it's just plutonium, right? Yeah, it's just plutonium. Looks kind of like a box or something for a second there. I was like, interesting. Um, uh, I guess I'll keep looking around. Um, I guess I'm just gonna keep looking around until I die. All right, guys, so I do think that is gonna be it for today, but I figured if we're gonna die anyways and not make it back home, let's go check out and see what the heck this cool alien guy, turtle looking thing is. Um, it's a Tumbo, a level one Tumbo. Are you friendly, Tumbo? Hey. Oh. Ah. Oh. No, no, he's not friendly. Tumbo is not my friend. That That's definitely true. Uh, well, if you guys uh, did enjoy the video or if you did learn something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Of course, if you haven't yet, always feel free to subscribe. I can't move, I can't move. Um, also, you can check me out on all the social medias. Uh, you know what they are, Facebook's. Instagrams, whatever, Twitters, all, all, there's just the, the, all the stuff. And uh, also you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash ObadiahX. Anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me, and I will see you again next time.